Also known as the Tank Killer, the A-10 is designed to unleash a massive force of firepower with the largest gun ever put into a fighter aircraft. Targets of opportunity for the A-10 include everything from trucks to tanks. Oh, this is the Gal 8. Uh, it's the only aircraft that's installed in the day. Uh, it holds 1,350 rounds, fully loaded. We normally carry a load of 1,150 rounds. The A-10's cannon fires at a high rate of 4,200 rounds per minute. Each 30-millimeter shell is fitted with a very small slug of depleted uranium, enabling the round to strike its target with 12 times the kinetic energy of its predecessor the 20 millimeter shell. Well, there's uh, three types of rounds we use in A-10 in Galley. The uh, HER, high explosive incinerator. The TP is what's loaded in my, on a training day. The normal day to day is a blue tip training round. And the uh, armor pierce. The gun, the gun is aimed through the heads up display, which we see a C from the cockpit. Uh, we get a ranging cue uh, to allow us to give us an idea about whether the uh, ammunition will actually penetrate it. Uh, when you squeeze the trigger, a lot of things happen at once. The gun stabilizes, the aircraft allows you to keep the sight on target a lot better that way, and once you start firing the rounds, uh, normally we fire tactical bursts about a second and a half, probably no longer than two seconds, and mainly because the track across the ground is so quick at that point that if you're engaging a point target, you're now off a target. It's, uh, it's awesome. I mean, if you can just imagine, I mean, it's... Uh... You know, 4,200 rounds a minute going off right underneath of you, basically, because you're sitting up on top of where the, the actual chamber. And uh, the whole airplane shakes. Uh, the smoke comes out the barrels. You can't see out the front of the gun, out the front of the uh, windscreen when you're shooting a gun because the smoke comes right back up where the canopy is. Uh, it's awesome. The first time I fired the uh, GAO-8 and the A-10, I'm not really sure if I even hit anything because, again, it was just such a rush. Uh, the amount of noise, the airplane vibrates, a lot of smoke comes out of the front end, and on warm, humid days like this, you can see the trails of the shells as they're heading toward the target. But uh, the, the gun is, the GAO-8 is like having a huge pistol on the end of this thing. You just whip the airplane around, point and shoot. So it allows you flexibility to engage uh, targets rapidly as they come up and to put decisive amount of firepower on them. Uh, again, tanks are very thick, but they're not thick on top, and we can put, we can pretty much still take out any tank in the anywhere in the uh, inventories of the world by uh, shooting through the top of the gun. In addition to its massive gun, the Warthog also carries a deadly assortment of weapons. It can carry up to 16,000 pounds of releasable external stores, or about four times that which a B-17 bomber could during World War II and it carries its weapons on eight underwing and three under-fuselage pylon stations. The A-10 carries a variety of weapons. It depends on the configuration for that day according to what we'll load. The A-10's arsenal of weapons give it a deadly amount of firepower. Uh, the A-10's firepower, uh, obviously the aircraft is designed around the cannon, the 30 millimeter cannon. Uh, we carry 1,150 rounds. Uh, it could be either combat mix of armor piercing and high explosive incendiary, or it could be all high explosive incendiary. Uh, as far as the other items that goes, uh, primary loadouts would be Maverick uh, AGM-65 missiles, uh, either electro-optical or inf imaging infrared. We carry standard uh, general purpose bombs, Mark 82s, which are 500 pounders, or Mark 84s, uh, 2,000 pounders. Uh, we carry white phosphorus rockets, we also carry jamming pods, we carry AIM-9 sidewinders for self-defense or anti-helo. <laughs> Despite the assortment of available weapons, A-10 pilots use the gun whenever possible. The 30-millimeter cannon can shoot down targets from up to two miles away, which allows the aircraft to destroy the enemy without flying directly over them, a practice which makes for a safer mission. The true test for any attack aircraft is how it performs in combat. Though unlikely to win any beauty contests, the A-10 tank killer is consistently victorious in battle.